are at the beautiful shores in Hawaii at the lovely Hilton Waikoloa Village. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Body Shape. And we have a fantastic show for you today. I get the privilege of taking Jennifer and Mary Jane through a back workout. Oh, that sounds great. Well, I'm going to take the two victims through some transitional movements. Now, these movements are exercises that work your chest and back at the same time. Some of my favorite exercises, but I get to take them through chest. Chest is important for women because it helps to support the bust, for men because they just like to stick it out there proud, and for both of you because you want to have good posture, strong chest, good posture. And we're the two who are going to be going through this. We hope you join us and go through it too. Why don't we start with a warm up, huh? Mary Jane, like pop on in, show I'll them what start we right got. Here. I have a feeling this is going to be a tough workout with the three of you, it always Better is. Better believe it. <laughs> up slow, get the negative. Warm up good now. Yeah. Carla, push him a little bit for me because, you know, I got to get him back now before oh, no. he starts. I'm going to save him for you. Consult your... We've done a rowing motion here. Come on, Mary Jean. Back, squeeze. Make sure on this movement you come back and really bring them elbows back. Come on. Right here. Let's go. If she needs a spot, I'm right here. Let's go, Mary Jean. Squeeze. Come forward. Squeezing it enough? Yep. Get a good stretch. Excellent. First time you begin this movement, you want to make sure, go with a light weight so you can get that proper form down. As you notice, Mary Jean is keeping that back straight. She's getting a Five full minutes. stretch of the lats, but she's not sitting and arching and rolling her shoulders in. She's staying upright. When she comes back, give it a nice squeeze. Exactly, Jennifer. Now, we're doing one set because the time you would do three to four sets, eight to 15 reps. Okay. Good job. And also, right. she's so strong, she doesn't let the weights take her back. I, I'm she puts why he's over there, you know, pulling it. Because he doesn't want to do anything today. <laughs> Oh, brother, I can see this. Oh, there we go. Okay. All, All right. right. You're in trouble, right? Okay. Get Let's my go. mouth closed. Two. <laughs> Three. Try and keep the elbows tight. Don't keep them up here. Keep them right by the body. Beautiful. That's great. Get a good stretch. There you go. Doesn't matter how far forward you go. Everybody's a little people... bit different. If you have any problems with your back or your knees, right. keep the knees soft. Go as far as feels comfortable. Everybody's a little bit different. Come on. I see some people locking out their knees in the gym. Yeah, I don't think, I think that's, that's a good idea. Too much. Too much stress in the lower back. Ooh. Come on. All okay. right, Jen. Three more. One. Come on. She's strong. She's getting. As, she's as strong as I am now. See? <laughs> she's getting right up there with me. <laughs> okay. All right. I got it. You know, Mary Jean, it's one of those things that sounds like a compliment, but I'm like, no, it sure. is a compliment because the other day you couldn't do it. Now you're doing it. Hey, guess who's right. working out? You don't mind if I do a set, do you? I'm no. Doing it. Show them how it's done. Come on, get in there. <laughs> Notice Rick is extended more on the bench. He's getting a larger stretch out of those lats. You look I was good, a little Rick. bit closer. You look good, Rick. And his cadence is a little bit faster, but that doesn't mean he's letting those weights yeah. come back and take him. He's keeping proper form. He's getting the work out of it. Okay. You know, Next anytime move. you're ready. Next you know, move. Right. See, I'm, I'm, I'm ahead of you guys. I'm right over here. hard here. All right. All right, this is a close grip pull down now. Oh, a little gosh. wider with the grip, Major. A little bit wider. A little bit Make wider. Make sure it's even. Okay. Is it even? A little Contact. bit more? Yeah. Okay. Right to the front, let it up slow. Keep the elbows close. Right here on the back, center back. Down, up. Make sure you get the negative, come on. There you go. Now whenever Good. you're doing any movement where the arms are coming from up above, you're working on your back. And as you notice, Good. here with the piece of equipment again, there are pads here. And what the pads do is they keep you in place. That way you're not gonna injure yourself. And you're staying, you're doing the movement and the weights can't take you away. Three more, come on. Yes, okay. two more, I got you. Right, now, come up slow, yeah. get the negative, slow. Beautiful, you have to get the negative, come on. Slow, slow, good job. All right. All right. Okay, Jen. Jen, let's go. Yes, yeah. Mary Jean, notice I'm using the same weight as you. Yeah, see? <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Nice and slow on the way. Make sure you fit in the machine, in other words, put the pads down to where you don't have any space between the knee and the pad. Come on, up slow, good. Now she's sitting a little back. Mm -hmm. Further. Does it matter if you're a little bit Not closer? Not really. You know, every, everybody has a little bit different of a preference. Right now, whatever feels comfortable, it should be straight down to the upper chest. To the chest. There you go. Come on. Down. Notice Jennifer is keeping her elbows really perfect right here and tight. That's good form. You'll feel it more in the back the closer you keep the elbows. Come on. Two more. Good job. Five more. Uh, come on. Come on, Jen. Okay, I want to do it. this. Four Throw more. It. Yes. Three more. I think she took that as a personal challenge. Two. <laughs> She's doing great. One. Good All right. job. Very Excellent, good, Jennifer. Jen. Woo! Very good. All right, now you always stretch in between sets. What we're going to do now, I'm going to do one more. Why don't you girls find a stretch right here on the All right, okay. I, have to, I have a stretch like this, which is very good. That's very good. Um, also oh. for the chest, you just round over, take a nice stretch. Rick is using the equipment. Otherwise, I would put my hand on yes. and use it for a nice pull oh, and go stretch. Like this. But especially whenever stretching in the gym, 
You want to make sure that you're staying away from moving equipment. All right, Don't third movement right over here. This is called a T-bar. Now, this is an excellent piece of equipment for people who have any kind of a back problem because, see, sitting on this bench, it takes all the pressure off your lower back. Now, depending on where you grip this, if you grip it close to keep the elbows in tight, it's more center back. If you were to grip it higher and keep the elbows up, it'd be more upper back. All right, Mary Jean, come on. Down slow. Get the negative now. Squeeze down slow. Stay flat against the pad. Just bring the elbows back. There you go. Up. Come on. Good. Up. Two more. Let's go. One. You got another one. Up. Of course, your biceps are helping in all these pulling movements, and so is your grip, but you want to really concentrate and have the area you're working on do the work. All right, Jen. Exactly, Jennifer. If you use too much weight, you're going to use more bicep than back. Okay. So try and isolate the muscle you're working. Get the form down first, and then right. add the weight. Good. Get now, the negative, I, I Jen. I felt that one was a little harder for me than the other two exercises okay. that I did. Well, that's what I'm here for. Just say a little help. Oh, help. 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 Come on. Five. Let's go. Four. Excellent, Jen. Three. Come on, Jen. Two. Good girl. One more. One more. I love that. Now squeeze right here. Let it down slow. Get the negative. Slow, slow, slow. Good Excellent. job. Excellent. Keep watching. There's more transitional movements. Now, these movements are movements that work the chest and back at the same time. Mary Jean's hitting the dumbbell. Pull over. Come on, Mary Jean. Bring it down. Get a good stretch, but try not to overstretch. This is a delicate angle for your shoulder. So if you come down too far, you can strain it. That's it, Mary Jean. You bring it down. You're a variation, man. You give so many good variations. Well, you know, the variety is the spice of life, right, Jennifer? That's true. OK, and bring it up. Spice of your workout. Down. Now, notice Mary Jean's just bringing it to about neck level. She's not bringing it down further than that. You know, if you were a beginner and you were going to try this exercise, you might, and I would suggest you would, lie flat on the bench, and you could do the same exercise with it coming off well, the back. Well, notice Mary Jean's hips are down. That gives mm. a little bit more stretch to the rib cage. Now, it can hurt the low back, so you just be real careful when you first do it. Come on, Mary G, two more. Come on, what do you Come mean on. you're done? That's not it. Come on, and one more. You guys thought you were oh. gonna get away easy. All I right. said you were gonna be victims Let today. Me have you done. Okay. okay. Hey. That was great. What camaraderie on this set, I'll tell you. Okay, let's go, Jennifer. Okay. Okay. Why don't you spot her, Mary Jean? Okay, now okay, just I just get want... the weight over here with her hands. Right, that's okay. it. I would touch her hands, hold her hands. Okay. Don't pull the weight away from All her. All right. Now also look at Jennifer's lower torso here. This is why you do the cross bench pullover, because that's you want okay. your no hips than lower than the shoulders. This gives a better stretch through the rib cage. If you're, if you're a beginner trainer and you're 18, 20 years old, your rib cage will actually expand from this exercise. Come on, Jen. Yeah, this is a nice exercise, though. You do get a good stretch on this You get exercise. an excellent stretch on this. And sometimes this is combined with a squat. Right. We call breathing oh. squats. So you do a set of this and then superset into squats. Well, I'd like to try this. You want to try that today, Mary Jean? Well, when we're in the gym the next time. Okay. How's that sound? Two more. Okay, come on, Jen. Okay, come on. Jen. That's it. That's one. Yeah. And two. Excellent. Whoa. Okay, I got it for you. OK, That's now, great. what do you do if you're alone? You put the dumbbell on your bench. Okay. Very good. Are you lie down, the mm -hmm. and then lift from there. Okay. OK. All right. You want to make sure you have a slight bend in the elbows, but you don't want to bend them too much, because then you're taking off the stress of the area you want to work, and you're getting more into the triceps. You know, I would imagine if your elbow is straight, you would cause an injury, because you're not, you're not right. allowing. Right. You never want to hyperextend right. or lock out those joints. And I sometimes have sensitivity in my elbow, so if I feel a, a, a stretch, it's usually when I do straighten out my elbow. Also, notice Pete, he's not straining his neck. He's Keep not it up. All right. hyperextending it back, but he's also yeah. not putting it down Keeping to his it chest. Right. Okay. All right, that's excellent. Yeah. That's a good point, Jen. All right, now. Okay, now let's move on to pullovers over here. Okay. Okay, Mary Jean, you want to go first? Go first. Okay. <laughs> Now, I'm, this is a little, I'm number one. You're number one, baby. <laughs> oh, I want to go at 55. Okay, go ahead. Put on 55. All right. She likes to pump it up. Oh. Okay, now we're using a straight bar for this. Now, I want you to move back just a little bit more, Mary Jean. Bend over a little oh, bit more. Right. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay, now this is a pullover motion. It's using a cable, but instead of going from above your head to chest level, now we're going oh. from head level down to waist okay. level. Just like that. <laughs> Yeah, you wanted to go heavier, didn't you? Hey, come on, let's go now. Come on, I'm helping you. Come on. So Squeeze it. This is hitting more of your back as opposed to the other, which is hitting exactly. a little more of the chest area. That is absolutely correct, Jennifer. This is hitting a little bit more of the lat muscle rather than the chest muscle. Come on, Mary G. Come on. You wanted to do it? Let's see. Oh, boy. Oh, one more, one more. You are too much. All right, good. And another one. All right. 
Oh my god. Okay. I was a little close. You before. got a little sloppy at the end yeah. there, but that's okay. I was standing a little too close before and it felt mm -hmm. easy. You have to get back a little bit further. Okay. Okay, get back a little bit more. That's it. Okay, this way you get a really good stretch. There you go. Okay, perfect form, Jennifer. Perfect Excellent. form. Now notice she's bringing it up to about eye level and then all the way down to the waist. Sometimes you could use a rope as well. And as you come down, the rope, you could open up the rope so you could actually get your wrist back further than your hips. Right. Now where the muscles are in here that's just working What right we're working along is right here. along here, right? Yeah, These lat muscles. Yeah, you actually see them. Right in here, yeah. That's your mind were popping with that weight. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. Now, usually the dumbbell pullovers usually do with chest. Yeah. These you usually do if you're doing a back workout. Now, if you're training chest and back, it's perfect right in between like we did today. Chest, chest. or, you know, back, Combined. pullovers, then chest. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Two more. Okay, two more. Come on. Really squeeze it. And That's one great. more. Come on. All right, go. this is a first on body shaping. I love it. This is my favorite exercise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, four really more good. sets of this for okay. you. Okay, let me do my last set. Okay. Now, watch let's this for you guys watch this form. Watch this form. See, now I love you're this bent exercise. over a little bit more for some reason. Well, he's bent he's over because down. he's supporting his lower back. He's got those knees bent. Yeah. But notice how flat his back is. Because he's working the back, you always want to keep it erect so you can bring what it down. Is. Notice he's not coming in and concaving himself. All right. Well, that's what helps when you have the, a little bit of an arch to keep the back straight. Mm -hmm. It kind of flattens it. Very good, Pete. Feels All good. right. Feels See, good. Doesn't it feel, this exercise really feels oh, good. I, I mean. It. Well, I love training with Pete in the gym because he does make me work hard. You guys are training partners at home. Oh, we train at home with my husband and Pete, and we get in there, we get a great workout. Okay. Exercise. Hi, welcome back to our total back and chest workout. Now, we've just gotten finished with back. Pete got finished with transitional exercises from back to chest. Now, Mary Jean's in action on the Smith machine doing a chest press. Come on. We're really going to work her. So I want you to really keep those elbows out there, Mary Jean. Right up. That's it. Come on. You got it. How many more you got? This Jennifer, get your hands right up well. under her Three elbow. More. Three. Come on, That's you got it. it. Come on, you, you got two. it. Two. That'd be great. Three. All right. Good job. Jennifer, Three. you're in there? OK. I'll spot. OK. It'd be great if everybody at home had a Smith machine. Why? Why? Because Smith <laughs> machine is self-spotting. That's what's so great That's about it, Carla. That's it, Jen. Good. Can I ask you a question yeah, on this one, Carla? People use different Sweet. grips on it. And I'd like to take a wider grip. Does it make a difference on the Smith machine? Widening, widening or narrowing your grip simply changes the focus of the exercise within the muscle group. That's it. Come on. You got it. Squeeze all the way up. Come on. Down them. OK, That's it. Jen, let's good. go, sweetheart. Come on. You got it. All Put right. It OK. Very Maybe good, Jen. Five. One. Go for them. OK. Four. Four. Good. Good. Three. Three. That's it. Two. Focus. And one. That's it. Ooh, okay. okay. Roll it in. It's okay. Woo. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I just got real quick, but you got to get up slowly when your head's down so as not to get dizzy. Oh, that's true. Okay. Wait a sec. Would you like me to spot her? I'll spot her. Great. Okay. Go ahead. Not that I think Carla's going to need any spot. <laughs> Now this press is a basic movement. Good girl. It's hitting the overall chest area. Notice Carla's bringing it right down to the middle of her chest. You look good, Carla. So Carla took a, even a wider grip than I did, mm -hmm. which I, for me it helps when I do a wider grip. Excellent, Stop Carla. Me. Under Keep the going. Elbows. Good girl. You're terrific. All right, this woman How many epitomizes okay, strength. Good. You epitomize strength, Carla. You look great. Right on over okay. here. You do. Now, incline is a change of angle. So we're moving from flat, which is the center of the chest, into a higher angle, which works a little bit of the front deltoids. Flies now or flies? There you go. Squeeze. Good. Many people drop their elbows tremendously on this. You want to open it up almost like a gull wing action. That's it. Squeeze at the top. And the difference between using the barbell as opposed to the dumbbells is you do get a fuller That's range of motion. And you were saying you can self-spot yourself here. You know, if it gets too heavy, you can drop them. There you go. But I'll be here to spot Mary Jean. Now, I said to you before, Jennifer, about your mm -hmm. spot. Mm -hmm. Cup your hands around her elbows. That's it. Okay. That way you support the joints. Thanks. Good. Um, That's it, Mary Jean. Push through. Oh, it's a fine work. Good. Good job. Lady pushes, she pushes, she's got great. I like it when they have panache and they go for a workout. 
Go Good for job. it. Hit that Excellent. Upper chest. Good job. Okay, Jen. Ooh, I'll spot you. Thanks. That's great. Uh, also, I like to move in a workout. Don't yeah. dilly dally moving into Keep your going. exercise. Get in there and show energy. That's what. That's the intensity well, of it. That's what keeps you going. That's what keeps you, you know, motivated to exercise. Squeeze that's the top. That's great, Jen. That's it. That's great. Right up. Watch that your elbows don't drop. Yeah, I noticed a lot of people really drop their elbows low, and I would imagine that would put a strain on the muscles. Some people does it. Some, mm -hmm. I see many advanced people where it doesn't. Come on, one more. Right. That's it. But that doesn't have anything to do with flexibility either. I mean, it's just a matter of. Well, you know, they claim stretch, but I say stretch after the exercise, okay. not during. You notice Carla changed the degree of the incline bench. It's just going to hit your chest in a little bit different area. You know, and a lot of women, too, Jennifer, think that they don't want to tra tra train their chest because they'll get too much muscular. And I, that's not true, because mm -hmm. I've been training life for very long now, 30 years, and my chest is still very sensuous. Ooh. Do you like that word, sensuous? Sensuous. <laughs> you said so well. Ten. Okay, let's move on. Okay. I was right. practicing my spot there, although you didn't need it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to Decline. A spot Another on this one. Another change of angle. See, I have difficulty, because this is really on the decline. Now, should I take a wider grip on this one, too? Wherever you're comfortable. Okay. Huh. Got it? Yes. Looking hard today. There you go. All right. One. Good. Two. Important in all benching, make sure that your partner is stable. You're leaning to your left, Mary Jean. You lean into the left. Watch that left arm. There you go. All right. And what I mean by stable is don't drop the bar in their hands. And you really have to think about keeping them as balanced as possible. Mm -hmm. One more. You got it. Especially it. when you're on the decline like this, the gotcha. tendency for that barbell to swing you back and take you away. It's really good to have a partner on this. That actually felt a little bit easier than when I tried it originally. But I think it's because I warmed up with the other two exercises. Okay. Now I made I made a remark before, Mary Jean, about <laughs> come on, bring it right down. About having a Smith yes. machine at home. If you're training at home, it might be easier for you to that's right. use dumbbells because it's a little safer. I find on the chest press, that's one exercise that I have to show a little more control because I do have a tendency of okay, leaning right. to one side. Well, we'll be back with a fitness tip from okay. Kathy Island. <laughs> Let's go. Right up there. I got go you. Go to it, girl. Oh. All right. That was great, Jen. Wait. He writes, Dear Body Shaping, I'm 5'11 and weigh 145 pounds. I eat tons of nutritious food, but I can't seem to gain any weight. I belong to a gym and I train all the time, six or seven days a week, sometimes twice a day if I have the time. Why can't I get more meat on my bones? Dan, in bodybuilding, you're what is known as a hard gainer. No matter what you do, you can't gain weight. Not only are you tall, thin, and lean, but you have a fast metabolism, too. This may surprise you, but I have a hunch that you're overtraining. Believe it or not, you may be working out too much. There are now dozens of experts who are convinced that the most effective way for a hard gainer to add muscle is to work out intensely and relatively briefly with long rests in between workouts. In fact, they recommend that a body part should be trained as little as once a week. The theory is that many hard gainers overtrain. They break down the muscle tissue, but don't give it enough time to repair and grow before they train the same muscle again. Also, aerobic exercise should be kept to three times a week for 20 to 30 minutes, just enough to keep your heart healthy. Dan, why not try to scale back a bit on your training and keep eating healthy foods? You might find that if you take it a little easier on your body, you'll be rewarded with some extra pounds. Good luck, Dan. Join the Body Shaping Club. Send your letter to Body Shaping and receive this beautiful 8x10 photograph of the Body Shaping cast. Just send $3 to Body Shaping, Radio City Station, Post Office Box 785, New York, New York, 10101. And thank you for all your letters. All right, there you have it. Now, we showed you a lot of movements for chest and back, but we're not done yet. Dr. Peter has one more movement here. Carl? Hey, this is transitional, and I said in the beginning, I love transitional. This is an around the world, and really, it's more for an advanced trainer. It's kind of a pullover and a fly combined together, so it expands the chest, and it gets everything. Look at Dr. Pete's chest in here. Yes, yeah, so it. on the way down, it's back. When you come up and squeeze, it's chest. Now, if you have any shoulder problems, be really careful with this movement. Start really light. There you go. Come on, oh. Pete. What's this? He's going. He's doing it the What's other this? way now. So in other Forward words, you and reverse. Go 
forward or you can go backwards. Watch Dr. Peter. Ready? Squeeze the chest. Now yeah. we have chest right here at the top. On the way down, it's back. There you go. Excellent. Come on, Pete. Squeeze. That's what do you it. say? Three to four sets of this? Yeah. Yeah, three to four sets. Start extremely light. Don't think you can use a lot of heavy weight with this because remember, you're working the shoulders in a very vulnerable position. Right. All right, we want to thank you very much for watching us. We hope you learned something today. Come on, Pete. Let's go. Bring it up. Squeeze. Yes. Yes. Nice and slow. Come on, take your time. Come around. Welcome, everyone, to a Step Reebok workout.